Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Here he comes. It's Postman Pat on his way with the letters. Buzzing about Greendale. Busy as ever. There are some letters for Granny Dryden today. Won't be long, Jess. Is somebody busy with a spot of painting? <laughs> Looks like it. Hello, Granny Dryden. Morning, Pat. There was Granny Dryden standing on a box, sploshing at the wall with the paint. I can't hold a brush properly now. It's these rheumatics, you know. You're making a grand job of that. It's going to look lovely when you've finished. Nay, Pat, I'll not be able to make a right job of it. The ceiling wants doing, and I'll never reach that in all my days. Would you like a hand with it? I could borrow a stepladder from Ted. I'll pop round after work and do that ceiling for you in two ticks. You might need a drop more paint, though. Let's have a look. How much is there in this one? <laughs> I think it's empty. Do be careful. It's messy stuff. Oh! Oh. Now you've gone and done it. All down your nice clean trousers. See if you can wipe it off before it soaks in. I think it's just making it worse. Spreading it out. Ooh, I'm sorry about your trousers. What is Sarah going to say? Never you worry about that. It was my fault. I, I should take more care. I expect that's what Sarah will say. I'll, uh, I'll nip home and change. These are not my best pair, luckily. Uh, I'll see you this evening. Oh, you are kind, Pat. Now mind how you go. Cheerio, Pat. Bye, Granny Dryden. Pat was on his way. Jess was wondering what the funny smell was. It didn't take long to get home.
Sarah did get a surprise. Hello? Anybody in? It's just me. Hello there. Oh, what are you doing back at this time of day? And what on earth have you done to your trousers? Um, it's only a drop of paint. You see, he told her all about Granny Dryden's ceiling. Well, you can't put your best pair on. I took them to the cleaners in Pencaster yesterday, and they won't be ready till Thursday. What am I going to do? You could look in the airing cupboard. I think there's an old pair that you do the gardening in. Well, it'll be better than nothing. I'll have a look. Sarah had her own work to get on with. When she saw Pat coming downstairs in his old trousers, she couldn't help laughing. <laughs> Are they long shorts or short longs? <laughs> I can't hang about any longer with all these letters to deliver. They'll do. Good luck, Pat. Bye. He was on his way again with rather chilly knees. Jess didn't know what to make of Pat's bare knees. He thought summer must have arrived early. They called on Miss Hubbard next. She had been doing a spot of gardening and nearly dropped the flowers she was carrying when she saw Pat. <laughs> Goodness me, Pat. <laughs> what are you doing in those shorts? It's not summer yet. They are not shorts, Miss Hubbard. They're an old pair of trousers. It's Granny Dryden, you see. She's painting her room, and she can't reach the ceiling. And... I don't believe a word of it. It's that post office. They're going all continental. Something to do with this common market business. Oh, what a lark! Did you say Granny Dryden was painting? Do you mean a picture? No. She's painting her sitting room, and I'm giving a hand with the ceiling. Well, I don't know what that's got to do with wearing Bermuda shorts. Hey-ho, it's a funny old world. But what she will need is plenty of sheets to cover the furniture. Oh, yes. I don't think she's got many. I didn't see any. She'll certainly need some sheets if you're going to help her. I've seen what a man can do with a pot of paint. I'll just get some out of the cupboard for you. Oh dear, they are a bit on the short side. I hope I didn't get a pair of Julians by mistake. Here we are. Oh! Oh! Help! A ghost! This thing. Get it off, I say. Oh. Is it. Is it you, Miss Hubbard? Th th of course it's me. What a question. No, don't just stand there. Get me out I of this. I can't help you if you jump around like that, Miss Hubbard. What an annoying business. Oh. 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 oh, what a relief. Now, Pat, pop that in your van and let's have no more nonsense about ghosts. Pat was on his way again. There was a cold breeze blowing, so he kept the sheet on his lap to keep his knees warm. They called it Ted Glenn's workshop. There was no sign of Ted. Hello? Ted? Anyone at home? Post? Where has he got to? Ted was getting his spring carrots in. When he heard somebody bumping about in his workshop, he thought he'd better go and have a look. You never know, it might be a burglar. 
Ted crept very quietly round to the door. Stop! Oh, help! Uh, oh, Ted. Sorry, Pat. I thought you were a burglar. Postman come house painter, more like. I've promised to give Granny Dryden a hand with painting her ceiling. Um, do you think I could borrow a ladder? <laughs> I'll do better than that. I'll give you a hand. Um, <laughs> are you doing it before you go on holiday? Holiday? What gave you that idea, Ted? <laughs> it's the snazzy shorts. Very smart. Cheerio. Ta-da, Pat. I'll meet you tonight at Granny Dryden's with the ladders. Seven o'clock. Pat was off again. To Thompson Ground. Dorothy was tidying up in the yard. Oh, it's Pat. I wonder what he's brought today. Lots of letters today, Dorothy. And it's a right busy day. A touch of spring in the air. What with you getting all tidied up and Granny Dryden painting her room. I hope she has plenty of paint. It always takes twice as much as you think it's going to need. Well, she might be a bit short. <laughs> like your trousers? Well, now, that's another story. We have plenty of pots in the barn. Always painting something we are. I'm sure we can spare a drop for Granny Dryden. Just keep a lookout for our silly ends. They get everywhere. Hey up. Ooh, it's a bit dark in here. This looks like the sort of thing. It's on a shelf. Have you found it? Ooh, it's a bit dark in here. Oh, help! A flying paint pot. Oh, ouch. I'll wait out here till you're done with the ends. Oh, <laughs> you do look nice. I love the feathery finish to go with the shorts, I suppose. Hmm. Time to go home. It was a busy scene at Granny Dryden's cottage that evening. We'll soon be done. It'll be just like new. I think I've about done my bit. It's a right bobby dazzler. And I have a surprise for you. We can clear this now. Come and sit down and admire your nice new ceiling. Oh, it's lovely. It really is. I could never have done it on my own. Oh, you are kind. Here, look at this. I've found another pot of paint. <laughs> Give it a good stir before it sets hard. Nay, it isn't a pot of paint at all. <laughs> it's a cake. A surprise, just to say thank you to both of you. Now that's the best pot of paint I ever saw. <laughs> and it's one you can't spill down your trousers. <laughs> postman, postman, Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Yeah. Is there a parcel? Yeah. Just the cat.